Wow, the endogenous DMT question is fascinating. And the, what you propose in your book, I think, is very intriguing, that DMT, as we know, is, uh, is, a, is a molecule that's found across species. It's found in animals. It's found in plants. Um, it certainly is found in us. I mean, there is endogenous DMT. The role in our spiritual development seems obvious. I don't think it's been proven, and the work that you're about to do should be a, a, a early step towards moving in that direction. And um, I, there's something really, really important there, and I await the science. I just feel like if groups of we scientists could get together, that's going back to the group process, that we need to be together to do this work, that it can't be done in isolation. It's too hard to do in isolation. Infrastructure-wise, it's too hard. It's too hard to take on the, the burdens, the regulatory burdens. Um, we have to do this as a group, as a tribe, a tribe of scientists.